Welcome back to CBS Mornings. You might have thought you're over COVID, but COVID ain't over with us. Government health officials are sounding the alarm about a fast-spreading coronavirus subvariant. It is driving up the COVID cases in some areas. Now, this one is called BA5, and it accounts for 65% of all new cases in this country. BA5 is more contagious than other Omicron subvariants, even infecting people who are vaccinated and boosted. Yikes. Dr. Ashish Jha is at the White House. He's the COVID-19 response coordinator. He joins us from Washington, D.C. Dr. Jha, good to see you. Good morning, Gail. Thanks for having me back. All right. We always like you. We always like it when you come on. So let's talk about this, this latest variant. People who are double vaccinated, double boosted, are starting to get COVID now for the first time. I know you might have heard I had it the first week of June. I was shocked and so depressed. I couldn't believe that it had happened to me. But here we are. Why is this happening now for a lot of people who have, who have followed all the rules and are still getting it with this particular variant? What's going on? Yeah, so there's, here's the thing. Um, BA5, the subvariant that you mentioned, incredibly immune evasive. So what we're seeing is people who got infected in January, February, March, they're getting reinfected at very, very high rates. We are seeing people who are vaccinated and boosted uh, also have breakthrough infections. The good news, Gail, is that people who are boosted and having breakthrough infections, they're not getting particularly sick. So that's the critical part, is that we're still preventing serious illness in folks, um, but you gotta be vaccinated and boosted, because if you have a breakthrough and you're not boosted, then people are getting really sick from this. You know what I think the problem is, Dr. Jha, from the beginning, I think we thought if we got our vaccines, if we got our, boost, if we got our boosters, we would not get this COVID. But that certainly is not the case. And I think so in a headway, we have to wrap our brains around that. And I think the messaging, I think, threw a lot of people off. So if you're getting infected once, twice, three times a lady, does it mean that it weakens your system and, and makes you more susceptible to long COVID? Well, so here's what we know. I mean, obviously, if you have breakthrough infections, if you've been vaccinated and boosted, uh, you're much less likely to get long COVID than if you're not vaccinated and boosted. So that's one point. Um, what, when we are seeing breakthrough infections, we're seeing reinfections, as I said. Um, each time you get infected, so far, Gail, it looks like the next one is less severe. So that's oh. also good news. That said, these reinfections can still be pretty nasty. And so what I'm saying to folks is if you got infected in the past, do not assume that you're going to be immune going forward. And the best way to protect yourself is just being up to date on vaccinations, making sure that you've gotten vaccinated at least in the last six months. Dr. Jha, back in April, the CDC reported that most Americans have had COVID at this point. I'm sure the numbers have increased since then. Uh, eventually, I remember seeing headlines, we're all going to get it. Uh, so give, with that in mind and all these treatments we have and the vaccines, where are we in the course of this pandemic? Uh, is it endemic? Is it a new normal? How would you describe it? Yeah, it's a great question. So the way I look at it is certainly we're in a way better position than where we were a couple of years ago, right? So if you think back to like 18 months ago when this president took office and where we were versus where we are today, uh, my gosh, we're in so much better place. The problem of why I don't think this is like endemic or the new normal is you still have 300 Americans dying every day, three to 400 Americans. That's a lot of people still getting very, very sick and dying. We've got to drive those numbers lower. The best way to do it be up to date on your vaccines, get treated if you get infected. That combination really keeps people out of the hospital and prevents them from getting very sick. We so, keep here. Go ahead. So I was going to say, so should people, uh, you know, with these cases rising, should everyone be allowed to get a second booster now? Well, so in my mind, everyone over 50, if you have not gotten a shot this year, if it's been six months or longer, you got to go out there and get that shot. That to me is a no brainer. Um, for people under 50, you know, FDA is looking at this topic right now and trying to sort out whether they're going to open that up and they're going to have a decision on that relatively soon. All right. Dr. Shish Jha, we appreciate you walking us through it. Thank you very much. Come back soon.